the Duke of Edinburgh was involved in a collision on Thursday, which saw his Land Rover land on its side following a smash with a Kia. Norfolk police issued a statement saying officers had attended the Sandringham estate just before 3 p.m. following reports of a collision involving two cars. Luckily the prince was unhurt, and two people in one of the vehicles suffered only minor injuries. Was Crash Road a known problem area? Prince Philip was driving near the Queen's Sandringham estate when the crash took place. The accident happened at the Barbingley Crossroads also known as Queen Elizabeth Way, where the B1439 meets the A149. This is approximately seven miles north of Kings Lynn. The stretch of road in question is known to the local council as it has seen 40 personal injury accidents, which include five that were fatal and ten serious. Read more, royal nicknames. Prince William calls the Queen Gary these accidents took place across six years to May 2018, on the road that Prince Philip crashed. Today Norfolk County Council are discussing lowering the speed limit on the A149, in meeting that was scheduled before Thursday's crash. Authorities will debate proposals to lower the speed limit from 60 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour as well as plans to install safety cameras on the road. Norfolk police confirmed last night both drivers had been breathalyzed and the tests had proved negative. Following the crash, the Duke of Edinburgh was checked over by a doctor as a precaution. An eyewitness said the 97-year-old was obviously very shocked following the incident. Roy Warne. 75 told the son that the Land Rover came across the A149 like a somersault. It was turning on its side over and over. It was frightening to see a powerful car rolling like that. I rushed to the other car, there was smoke coming out as if it may explode. There was a baby in the back seat screaming. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman confirmed the Duke was driving when the accident happened. She added, he saw a doctor as a precaution and the doctor confirmed he was not injured. Philip and the Queen, who was informed about the accident, are staying at Sandringham, their residence during their traditional winter break.